people around the world have been using carousels as forms of entertainment for multiple centuries. Now a refurbished one that was manufactured in the 1800s is almost ready to run again at 19th century Curran Village. We didn't have a manual for this thing and um, we took it apart ourselves, myself and two others, and uh, we um, put it back together. According to Schmick, the carousel was built in Tonawanda, New York, and Ivory Fenderson of Saco, Maine bought it in 1894 for his entertainment business. He ran it from 1896 to 1922, uh, all up and down Maine and into New Hampshire and Massachusetts during the summer months. And uh, he usually would set it up at agricultural fairs and rural areas where there were public gatherings. Schmick says the carousel was turned over to the Willowbrook Museum Village in Newfield, Maine, who began to restore it in the late 1970s and opened it to the public in 1991. In 2017, it was turned over to the current homestead following the museum's closure. The museum here changed its mission. It became a museum that uh, focused on 19th century rural life in New England. The carousel features the same pieces that were used in the 19th century, as well as the building from Willowbrook meant to look like a tent. According to Schmick, the original steam engine has been altered into an air compressor to power it. We've put sheathing all around the perimeter. It was just open framing in the past, and so we're going to, going to use it as a gallery space as well. Final touches are still being done before the carousel can be powered up for school groups and families to ride. I think it would be, it's pretty interesting. It's pretty neat to come and learn a little bit about the history and how stuff was done, in, you know, way back when. Schmick says he expects to have the carousel up and running in about two weeks. In Orrington, Brooke Riley, ABC 7 and Fox 22.